Hello, Sam Sipa. Hi, Alex. I'm thrilled to be here with you today to have this conversation. Can you explain your role with Google and Sign Gemma? Sure. My current title at Google is AI Research Accessibility Lead Program Manager. My job is to oversee and support the operation of all of our different accessibility research AI projects, including deaf people's use of sign language as input to mobile devices, tablets, and other platforms. I'm honored to have this opportunity to be involved in this work. How accurate is Sign Gemma in terms of its ability to read and understand people's use of ASL? And how do you measure that accuracy? Based on our Sign Gemma model, we make a distinction between the ASL model and the international sign model. We use different signs for each one. But based on our work with ASL, when compared to the benchmarks that have been reported in academic research, our results far exceed those of others who are working in this field. Does that mean our model is perfect? No. These are very early days, and there's a lot of room for us to grow. We recognize that this model still has many challenges. One example is the ability to recognize regional signs. For example, there's a difference in signing style from New York to California. Our model is a little weak at recognizing some of those differences. There's more work to be done there. Another challenge for the model is the ability to recognize classifiers that are used in ASL for detailed visual descriptions, such as showing the trajectory of a car running into a tree and falling over. Our model does not translate those things accurately yet, and it's providing an opportunity for us to work on that and continue to improve our sign gemma model. One way to do this is to feed it more data. As we add more data to the model, its accuracy improves. That said, what we have in the current model can still provide enormous benefits to the deaf community. And with more training, it's going to be even more beneficial and valuable for deaf users out there. Can the Sign Gemma model translate spoken language or typed text in English to ASL using computer generated signing? Does it work in both directions? Let me clarify here. The focus of this model is to only go from sign language to English in text form. It only goes one way. The intention is to provide some benefit to deaf users. For example, something as basic as using ASL to order food on a mobile device. You can now use your natural sign language to accomplish this, which is really incredible. You might have a smart home device now you can sign to the device to tell it to please turn off the lights in the kitchen. These are examples of how we intend this technology to be used. It's not intended to replace an interpreter. Our only goal is to empower the developer community to start incorporating the SignGemma model to build new features on their platforms. Our team very much respects the process of interpreting. But at the same time, we recognize that this tool is now ready to provide an opportunity for deaf people to connect to the world. Things that were once impossible to do are now possible, and this is an enormous benefit. How do you respond to those people who are concerned 
that companies or other entities intend to use the SignGemma technology to replace the need for using human interpreters. Yes, that is a very fair concern among the community. What are the implications of widespread use of this technology for our deaf signing community and the interpreting community as well? What will this mean for our future? Well, let me give you some background. When I was offered this role to join the sign language research team, I thought long and hard about accepting it. It was not a decision I made lightly. I realized the huge impact that this might have, but at the same time, I also realized that this meant that the leadership at Google truly cared about and valued having deaf leaders on the team. From the outset of this research, to bring more authenticity from the deaf perspective on how this AI technology should be used in the ways that deaf people wanted. You know, there's a lot of information out there in the world with technology online, and there are still barriers for deaf people to get access to that information. In a natural disaster emergency, there's a barrier there. We're trying to get public services. There's a barrier there. We're trying to order anything online. There are barriers everywhere for the deaf community. This technology is not intended to replace interpreting. Our team has great respect for the service that human interpreters provide. For medical appointments and many other settings where it's critical. Far from that, we intended this technology to be used to access the internet, which is still not accessible to the public. Our intention is to energize and educate the developer community that these tools exist, that they can build sign language input into their platforms, opening up access for deaf people to make many more connections. This is especially important for deaf children who sign fluently but are not yet able to express themselves perfectly in written English. Now they can use sign language to express themselves naturally to a device and have that translated to English text. Now they have more ability to connect with their family, friends, neighbors, and the community in general. This opens many, many doors. And that was the intention behind this technology. Can you explain how long you and your team at Google have been working on SignGemma? Sure. I can give you more context on how all this started. Back in 2020, the sign language research team was formulated, including myself as one of the early founders. When I was offered the position to join this team that was focusing on AI research with sign language, it was a tough decision for me. I felt it was very important that I bring the correct perspective from the deaf user community on the use of this technology as input to mobile devices and screens. I was also very honored that at the highest levels, the senior vice president of research wanted to create this position for me, a deaf person, to act as a liaison between the user community, the academic research community, and Google's engineers and scientists to make sure that we were creating an authentic user experience and not something that was far off base from what the community needed. So that was how I got involved. The other great thing about our sign language research team is that many of them are well educated about deaf culture and have extensive ongoing training in that area. I would say half of them are proficient signers. Some of them have been doing research involving deaf people for 30 years or more. So it's a great group of people who truly want to elevate the user experience for deaf people so that they can access the world's information using their native sign language. We also have external partners who help us with this work because we know we're not perfect. 
For example, at NTID, the National Technical Institute for the Deaf, we have partnered with their faculty, researchers, and scholars to help us identify some things that we may have missed in our research, such as identifying regional signs and input from other cultural groups. We have also partnered with DPAN, Sean Forbes and his team, to make sure that we are collecting authentic user data from all over the United States deaf community, to train our AI data model, and make sure it is an authentic representation of the deaf community. My role in all of this is to coordinate the researchers, the engineers, and our partnerships with external companies and vendors to make sure that we are providing resources to the developer community that they can use to help benefit deaf people's experience and communicate better on their platforms. What is your roadmap going forward for Sign Gemma? And when do you expect this to be disseminated so that people can start using it? Our current roadmap has not changed. From what we announced at our recent Google I.O. conference, Sign Gemma will be released later this year. A lot of people are applauding this release and looking forward to it. It really is an important milestone. We are truly writing a new chapter in deaf history and in human history, where we now have this model that can be used with different partners and other tech companies to build better accessible experiences for the deaf and hard of hearing signing community. Looking ahead, we will continue to develop the model. 2025 is going to be a great year for us. Is there anything you would like to add? This is just one of many opportunities we have to interact with you, the community, and our most valued users who will use this technology, sign language input, on your mobile devices and other screens. Thank you so much for your posts, texts, and calls, congratulating us and recognizing this important partnership between the technology industry and the community. Our common goal is a better quality of life and an elevated experience for deaf people to access the world's information. Again, thank you, Alex, for allowing me this opportunity to chat with you today. Thank you, Sam.